There's a lot of color on your neck already. <laughs> you were not supposed to keep the hair tie in! <laughs> they were coloring the hair with the hair tie still in. Hi, beautiful. Thank you for being here, and let's watch some videos together. I've been told that this video has the craziest before and after, so you better live up to the hype. We're gonna start with having half magenta and half red. You're gonna mix half and half. Oh, okay, so she's doing more of like a pink red, like a very cool tone red, which I love. I mean, I love all reds, but like cool tone red... No, I feel like I like a more fiery red actually. I don't know what the fuck I like. And I have a lot of thick hair, so I needed four boxes. And then I used 20 volume developer. Okay, so she's using permanent color, a high lift color. So high lift colors cannot be used over colored hair. So her hair must be virgin in order to use something like this. Now I say that based on manufacturer instructions, okay? You can definitely break and bend the rules and things might turn out fine. However, generally you shouldn't use high lift color over already colored hair. So let's see if her hair's already colored or not. Let's see if she got this one right, because people never do. My hair um, was really light. I actually decolorized it in another video. You did what? You bleached it before you did high color? Why? I need to see your hair. When's she gonna show it? So this is what I started out with. As you can see, it's very light. Uh, um, <laughs> um. All right, so her hair is already honey blonde. Not even honey. I don't know what this blonde is. Green, blonde, maybe. Her hair is already lightened, so therefore we should not be putting high lift color on our hair. It would have been great if you just use a semi-permanent or a diamond-permanent color. You definitely don't need a high lift. I mean, permanent also would have been fine. However, you don't really need to put permanent color on your hair because most people don't want their hair to be red forever. So usually demi or semi, depending on how much longevity you want out of your color. Demi will give you more longevity, semi will give you less, but semi will give you the option to switch it up more often. It's all preference. But high lift color will be the last resort for me. With that said, let's see how things progress. Depending on what your base is, is what it's gonna turn out to be so if you want to achieve this exact color you do have to go through the steps that i went through to get it lifted to this level i didn't use bleach i used the colorizer though i mean her makeup right now is very cool toned so i feel like it would go well like a magenta red but she almost has more of a neutral skin tone which also goes with the magenta red thing she's doing she'll look good is what I'm trying to say. I started off by putting Vaseline on my skin just so I wouldn't get stained. This step is really important because if you are going out or if you're you know, doing this on the weekend because you want your new hair for the weekend, you don't want to have stains, girl. Like, no. <laughs> Honestly, she's so real for that one. Like if you guys are doing your hair red, red stains, it stains your scalp, it stains your forehead, it stains your neck. It's a crazy color to have. So I do also recommend you do something like this with Vaseline. However, be careful to not actually apply it to your hairline, like on top of the, the baby hairs, because people often do that. And you can tell that they did it because their baby hairs are not colored the same as the rest of their hair. You might've put that Vaseline a little too far back that time. So be careful. Read the instructions because it tells you exactly how much you need this is just if you have the same um consistency and everything as me cutting the back of those things those little squeeze tubes instead of just squeezing it all out so much easier like she's smart smart for that one and i noticed this cool trick if i open it from the bottom it's more easier for me to get out like the hair dye which is great. Ooh, that is very vibrant. I'm scared. I think it'll look good, but that is a very, very, very bright color. <laughs> She's gonna look like a different person. This is gonna be a wild transformation. All right, so um, I started from the bottom. Honestly, I sometimes, or well, most of the time, I split my hair into four sections. Oh, two of the best things I could hear all day. She started from the bottom and now she's here. No, she started from the bottom of her hair and that is music to my ears, baby. That is the best thing I could ever hear. Starting from the bottom keeps everything clean. You can lay the hair over itself instead of trying to push it over your head this way and then the, the red gets all over your face. It becomes a whole issue. So doing it this way makes a lot of sense and it's such a great idea. Yes. But you know what I noticed? I, I get so tired when I do it that way. I'm like, oh, I have so much hair and I'm like getting bored midway through my hair. I'm like, why did I even do this? It's so much. There's a lot of color on your neck already. We should be painting the hair, not the neck. All of you guys go ham on your fucking skin. Let's color the hair. Let's leave the skin alone. I don't know why everybody just starts like painting away on their neck and their face. Like at the end of these videos, I'm like, chill. We were supposed to be going for the hair, not the face. I started getting big globs of hair dye on my hair because I'm 
tired and I want to get this over with. But I noticed that if I start from the bottom up and do small sections, it's actually more doable. So I did it that way this time and I felt like I had less patches. I was less... Um, anxious to finish. Let me elaborate on the high lift color thing. She's using a 20 volume over hair that is already lightened. Now, we don't need to do that, right? Because her hair is already lightened and what 20 volume does is lighten and deposit. We don't need the lightening portion of this. So what she's doing is she's now lightening the hair again that doesn't need to be lightened and then we're depositing the red pigments in. That's going to create a problem because when the hair is lightened further than it needs to be, like what's happening right now um, while that color processes, is those color molecules are are more susceptible to falling out of the hair quicker because we're kind of inflicting more damage on the hair. We're making that hair more porous. There's a point where it's too porous where it just can't grasp that color and it'll fall right out of the hair. If she did dead permanent color, she would only have that depositing portion. So it would grip better, it would stay better, and she wouldn't have to do her hair color as often. I think people get confused with like permanent being like more permanent versus demi-permanent, but it's not like that. It's not black and white. Sometimes demi-permanent stays on the hair longer depending on the situation. I would recommend you instead of doing the four sections do this if you're like me and you're impatient and you get tired midway through your hair and you realize you have more hair than you thought you did do this is better I feel like for me I like the way she's doing this with just your hands honestly you guys you can just do it like this you don't need a brush when you're just putting a color all over your head sometimes it's easier to just feel you're not a professional so like let's not pretend you are just use your hands you can really feel where the, where the color is and where it isn't and take thin sections when you're doing colors you know what I noticed about this color is that it bleeds a lot like the first day it was really pretty of course everybody was complimenting me but after i showered the first time it looked a little bit more opaque but the second time i was like damn like i need to get a red hair mask already see what she just said the second time she washed her hair it kind of all came out that is largely i'm sure in part because she used a high lift color over hair that didn't need a high lift color ah! all right so she is working her way up the head being super precise with her brush strokes and she is parting that hair beautifully honestly very impressed so far it's looking good this hair color is processing you can tell it's getting super red super vibrant and i am just dying to see what this looks like like absolutely dying i feel like this is gonna be one of the best transformations ever i am so excited for her this is looking divine and plus i feel like that color before was doing kind of nothing for her like it was kind of washing her out color is so cool right because you can change your hair color and you will literally become more attractive that's so cool me for instance like i feel like i have looked so ugly i've had so many hair colors that i knew i looked ugly in but i just did it anyways but now i feel like kind of my hair color right now is kind of working for me i don't know but um i feel like this is gonna be her thing that really works for her basically what i'm trying to say is if you ever feel ugly maybe try a different hair color or um figure out what your skin tone is if you're cool warm neutral and try and pick a color in that family what really looks good on people is contrast as well so contrast is always great this is the completed application um this is how it looks like when it's done it's already looking really really bright and i'm loving it i was like yes it looks like it's gonna turn out really pretty we did pretty good with not getting the color all over our face however there are a few dots and it's worrying me get that off your face nobody seems to worry about getting permanent color on their skin i would have a panic attack every time i got a little dot on my skin because i know that shit's not coming out for two days and i don't want it there i left it in for 30 to 40 minutes and i noticed that my ends were kind of getting brittle so if you have really processed hair keep that in mind like i've said before i'm not a professional this is just how i do my hair if your hair is really brittle be careful when you're doing this because i think the l'oreal high lift does have like a built-in bleach maybe i don't know a high lift has more lifting power than a permanent color and whenever you're lifting anything in hair it causes damage okay so this is why I'm telling you not to use a high lift. Yeah, this is a completed look. Oh my god, I love it. It looks really pretty. It's so red, especially I didn't get a video in the sunlight, but in the sunlight you should see it looks so much more prettier. Oh my god. I got so many compliments that same day. Everybody was like, oh, I love your hair, especially women. They were like, oh my god, your hair looks so pretty. And if you notice, it looks more shiny and bouncy and healthier than it did with the honey blonde hair. Holy shit.
That all happened so quick. Mm -hmm. Her hair just went from like this dull, dingy, honey blonde to the most vibrant, fantastic, magical looking red I've ever seen. I mean, she looks divine. She looks incredible. I love, <laughs> love this hair color on her. Oh, 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 this is your color. That was a wild transformation. Look at this before and look at this after. Is that even the same person? Also, the makeup just came through. And the fact that you wore makeup that entire time you were coloring your hair and it still looks is perfect is actually a miracle and um i want to know what setting spray you're using because that was f crazy how the hell <laughs> wow that is a vibrant red that is what i'm talking about that is what i want to see it's been a good like six months since the last time i dyed my hair i held off on dyeing it again for a while because i wanted it to get healthy again since it had been bleached but what's the point of having healthy hair the point is so i can kill it again okay honestly yeah i get that you fuck up your hair you shave it or you cut it short you grow it back out and then you it up again. <laughs> like the circle of life when it comes to people who color their hair, right? Like that's the vibe. I can't stop touching my hair. I loved the way my color looked like a month ago and then I colored it again and I don't like it as much, but I needed to color it. I had to. And it was a mistake. I decided I'm gonna go red again. This time it's gonna be permanent red. That way I won't have to touch it up or anything for a minute, hopefully. I don't know, I've never used this one, so I don't know if it's actually good. That's usually not the case with red hair color. You kind of always have to touch it up. The thing with red is those color molecules are big and bad and they are sexy. They don't call them big red for nothing. They tend to fall out of the hair quickly and you need to kind of reapply often the color. Using a semi-permanent color in between permanent color services is always recommended and also like a red shampoo if you want to stay as red as possible for as long as possible. It's the L'Oreal Technique Chroma True Red in Chroma Ruby. I'm gonna use 20 volume because 30 just feels kind of intense. She said she hasn't colored her hair in six months but her hair kind of looks a little bit red so i'm wondering like what's going on there because nobody has naturally discolored hair are you lying to us did you color it i'm on to you so i mean if she hasn't colored it what she says then permanent color is great because she needs that lift she needs to get her hair lighter so that the hair can be brighter red you know what i mean is that making any sense to anybody who's not a hairstylist come on let me know come on let me know in my life this is a, a one to one ratio so again if you're gonna buy this and you have a lot of hair you're probably gonna need two of these and two of these. I feel like I should get my food scale out. That way I can be really precise with it. No. <laughs> You guys, she was on the right path. She's like, let me get my food scale out. Let me make sure this is correct. And then no food scale. When you're mixing permanent color, you gotta do the ratios correctly. This is not like a fun little joke, guys. With bleach, sure, like mix your own ratio, do your own thing. But with permanent color, you gotta do the right mixing ratios or else the color just won't come out right or it won't develop enough. The issues will happen is what I'm trying to tell you, okay? So this is scary. This is scary stuff right now. There's not like a lot in there. If you have a crazy amount of hair, maybe get three bottles of each. Cause I kind of feel like I'm gonna use all of this on my hair. And I, I'm like basically bald. So we just started attacking the hair, like right on the top of the head from roots to ends. You know what's gonna happen, you guys? She might end up with hot roots. Luckily, her hair is fine enough and short enough that the hot root thing might not happen. Because if the ends of her hair can touch her roots, then it's possible that the whole thing will turn the same color at the same time. However, it's not recommended that you do the roots and the mids and the ends at the same time when you're doing a virgin color application, which is what she's doing right now. Next time, start in the mids and ends and then do the roots. But it could be fine, could be okay today. Okay, so she is going around her head and she's applying and it's getting really crazy in here because she's kind of just going at it with not a lot of technique and I don't feel like she's really sectioning her hair out very much. You know, obviously when you're doing any kind of color job, we need to go in sections, you guys. Horizontal sections, thin sections. With cream colors, it tends to not move as much as like a liquid, a more liquidy color would. So where you put the color is where it's gonna stay. So if you do not get every single hair strand, it's not going to expand as much and it's not gonna kind of seep through the other layers of the hair. And you might end up with spotting. So I'm a little worried that's gonna happen with her. However, she started with darker hair, so she's not as susceptible to bright visual spotting going on. She's gonna get lucky because her, her canvas she's starting with is already dark, so you won't be able to see any kind of mess ups really. Unless you looked in person and stared at her head and had a trained eye, you might be able to see it then. Could be fine, could be cute, I don't know. I was gonna cover my hair with a cap, but it says specifically in the directions not to do that. She did an amazing job at applying this color and not getting it on her skin, and she has a very pale skin. So she's even more prone to staining. Great job with that. 10 out of 10. Honestly, I've never seen such a clean at-home color application. Woo! Oh yeah, here's the back of my head. 
All I'm imagining is that there's a huge patch back there that has nothing on it. It's completely dry and brown and untouched. Now that I'm seeing the back of her head, it does look like she might have not applied enough color. I take that back. It looks pretty heavily saturated. With permanent color, guys, more is more. Honestly, like, just make sure every strand is hit and there's plenty of that cream on there, okay? We don't want this to be dry and crusty at any point. We want it to stay nice and moist. I know some people hate that word, so sorry for saying that. Moist, moist, moist. Oh, my floor did get dyed. There is, in fact, a red streak of hair dye on my floor from where I dropped it earlier. Oh, well that's not gonna come out. <laughs> My heart goes out to your floor. I'm in a new place now and um, I can honestly say that there's not one hair color stain in this entire place and I've been here for like four months. My old apartment, the way that there was hair color everywhere. I'm surprised I didn't have to pay like $5,000 to just to move out. They were like, oh, we don't see it, <laughs> get out. Every place I've ever lived at, stains. I'm messy with hair color, okay? So I know the pain. It's almost time for the results. We're rinsing this color out. Now also make sure you read the manufacturer's instructions. Sometimes you have to shampoo color out and sometimes you just rinse. Hair color lines say a lot of different things. So look at the information online and make sure you're doing the right thing because sometimes you'd be stripping this color out right after you colored your hair and you paid all this money to do it and you shampoo it and you shouldn't do that. Prepare to be disappointed. How? What did you do? It's pretty dark. It's, it's dark. I don't really like it. <laughs> I think I should have used 30 developer or just bleached my hair. That probably would have been the correct step and I can't bleach it now. I don't love it either. You know, she was right. She said I should use 30 volume developer. Honestly, you probably should have used 40. I don't know how light you wanted it, but depending on which developer you use, you get a certain amount of lift power, right? It cuts through a certain amount of levels. So do your research and figure out which one is right for you based off of your desired end results next time. But this, this is really dark. It almost looks exactly the same as what she began with, which is f disappointing to say the least. That sucks because I really don't like this color. There's nothing I can do about it. I kind of just have to let it live. I also just really need to cut my hair. I don't think that's helping at all. I look very mushroomy. Would I look cool with the sides of my head shaved? No. <laughs> it's shiny, it's vibrant, it's definitely more of like a violety red tone. It's kind of cool, but I don't know if it's going with your skin tone as well as like a nice rich warm red would have. So yeah, I agree with you. But you could bleach it. Your hair doesn't look damaged, should be fine. Sometimes you just gotta f bleach it. And this is one of those times. Sorry that happened to you though, that sucks. I feel like I'm just rubbing dirt on the wound. F your life. I'm kidding. Maybe next time we'll get that right, you know? Just won't do it like that. Also, if you want it like bright fire engine, like orange, red, you should bleach it like an orange color and then use a semi-permanent color on top of it to make it nice and bright. Otherwise, you're not really gonna get that result with high lift. It's very difficult. Also, if you keep forgetting, put a plastic bag over your head, not over your face, over your head. And also, heat also helps high lift colors process brighter and lighter. So these are all things you can try at home if you want the brightest high lift result ever. What's up, we're Walk on Mars. And today, we're we're dyeing our singer's hair super red. Sorry, Brad Mondo. Honestly, it's totally okay. I wasn't expecting all these people though. You caught me off guard with this. Okay, and she has beautiful hair and it is light into a nice pale, pale blonde. And she's using the right thing, semi permanent color. Super red to be exact. This is gonna be an extreme transformation. So I'm gonna put Vaseline on my skin so that when they mess up, it's not gonna be like, it's not gonna dye my skin red. I love how she's trusting her band members to color her hair. Never would I ever. I mean, I don't have band mates to do my hair, but would I let them? No, especially not straight men. Sorry, straight people. You're not the best at beauty things. Is this how you do it? <laughs> That's not, no, 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 I, not right now. <laughs> Are you painting Vaseline with a, with a brush? <laughs> you know, next time it's okay to just use your hands. Yeah, you don't really need to use a brush for that. I don't know what you would think with that one. <laughs> Yo. Let's do a little bit of a reveal. Yeah, Let's do like a satisfying reveal. Do you want to go inside and ask for gloves? Go for it. Part of me really wants that to just explode everywhere. As it Ready? <gasps> wow. Oh my God. That's the reaction I want every time somebody uses my color. Oh my God. Uh, oh my God. What we're gonna do is section my hair into four 
four sections. And they're each gonna take one. So what do we do? Do we just, do we just like slather it in? Yes, that is literally all you do. Just put it on there. <laughs> Get it on, and also you can comb with a, with a comb. That would be optimal, but if you don't have a comb, you don't need to. Just make sure you get on every single piece of hair. I am so excited to see them do this. Also horrified. What you could do is like put it on like one and then flip it and get the other side. You and then like once you're, once you you're- the hair? I think you just, can I just, I don't know. Can someone have Chase on his side? <laughs> Oh my God, straight man, I can't. He's just like, can I just pour the entire thing on your head and then just shampoo it and see what happens? Can I go like that? I mean, honestly, you could try it. Might work out well. I split the hair into four crazy sections. I'm gonna sign sections. Nate, you just <laughs> get this run section, okay? Gotcha. Top left. Haven, top right. You guys have the bag. Caleb. Know. Bottom, I back, got this uh, one, this one, Chase. This one's yours. The one that's that one not a ball. This is the most efficient way of coloring hair ever. By the way, <laughs> like getting this many people, four different people, to color your hair at the same time. I wish I had that every time I colored my hair because I have zero patience for doing my hair. Sorry, I was just thinking, do I have any patience? And I was like, no, I still have zero. Please try to stay away from my skin, even though there's Vaseline. I have a feeling this is gonna go all over her face, all over her neck, all over everything. Also make sure you cover the root to the base. Try to start like from the middle, work down and then get to the root. Oh, I love you. You can tell you watch my videos besides the fact that that was incorrect information. It's the thought that counted there. Um, This is not permanent color, so you can just put it all over. There's no way you need to apply it. It's very user-friendly, so you don't need to do it on the mids and ends and then the roots. You can just apply it and go for it, okay? Just attack the hair and get it on every single strand. And that's because there's no developer. There's no lifting power in this color. So you don't have to worry about the heat because the heat does not affect semi-permanent color. Because the root dies faster because of the heat that's coming off of it. Oh I God. learned that for Brad Mondo. You learned something. Not quite the correct information though. So like... Yes. S word instead of slather. I'll start you guys out. <laughs> She literally just said, don't start at the roots and she starts at her roots. Why does that always happen? The last two weeks of videos, somebody said that and then they started at the root. What's going on there? See, look at that application. I know I told you to stay away from the root at first, but I'm like showing you. Holy crap, this is so red. I'm so scared. You should be. Look I at don't this know color. What I'm doing. This color is insane. You have two one might say enough. it's super red. It's the most red sign permanent color you could possibly get. Ew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase, you're taking the bottom section right here. Do I just slap it in your hair? Mary, I legitimately don't. No, if you want me to do this. Yeah. This is an awful idea. I'm gonna back up so you guys can back up and be This is low. the best worst idea she has ever had. <laughs> This is a terrible idea. There's no confidence coming from these guys either. So <laughs> like all of them are worried. Great. I am stressed watching this. This is not. <laughs> is this what musicians do? Is this like how it feels to be a rock star? Immediately I've ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get in there and your fingies. <laughs> it looks like marinara sauce. What? Um, Nate, you're being so precise. Thank yeah, you. Well, I know what I'm doing. I don't. I think in. this one spot looks pretty, pretty red. The way that they're just grabbing the whole section and then just painting on the top of it. This is just way too complicated. Start at the bottom of each section and work your way up, people. God. I Dude. hope you have the lowest expectations. I thought you were going to say <laughs> Can I get another doll of marinara sauce? The way that they're calling the hair color marinara sauce. Should I come out with a special red color that looks like marinara and have like pasta? on the packaging. No? Okay. Mary, this hair tie is not gonna come out of your hair. Wait, why did you not take out the hair tie? You oh, what? You were not supposed to keep the hair tie in! Why did you put it in the first place? I told Separate. you all to Separate. take it out! <laughs> they were coloring the hair with the hair tie still in. This is what I'm saying. Straight men, I, you guys just stay away from beauty things. It's, it's a f mess. You're good at other things, like, Watching sports. Let's just keep doing that. Can I slap this on your head now, Would man? You like the devil? Yeah. Wait, at the end, I never thought I'd squeegee the hair a little bit so that. Squeegee. 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 I got hair snapped. The way that you just smacked her head. Wow. Brad Mondo's dye is known for mm. like being like hair healing color. And basically it heals your hair after a fresh bleach. I love when people read my marketing claims perfectly. Okay. Oh All right. So this is where we are at. You can't see it. You can see the bag. We are uh, incubating. You don't need to put a bag on your head, by the way. You don't need any tools except for gloves. And that's pretty much it. It's processing. It looks like it is heavily saturated. So that's good. Very exciting. Very fun, I think. No, this is good. This is gonna be great. No, it's gonna be awesome. 
Huh? Chloe, these are the results. Look, I think they did a good job. I'm clapping, I'm for, clapping you guys. for the people that actually watched the end of the video. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Yeah. Can please take a moment to clap for Brad Mondo. Yeah, Brad. Brad. Wow, she looks like a rock star now. That is a beautiful red color. She is so pretty too. That looks amazing. That is so f***ing red. I think it goes perfectly with her style. I'm obsessed. It is so vibrant. I wish she just put some like sea salt spray in it or like a, a curl mousse. Just get a lot of texture in her. Almost like it's kind of dirty looking. Like I love a nice dirty looking head of hair on a cool girl like this. Okay, I'm sorry for all the straight guy hate. I don't hate straight guys. You did a great job. Today, there's gonna be a hair dyeing video. It's been a hot minute. Holy sh her hair is light blonde. She's gonna go red. It's so perfect. I'm almost sad because, I mean, her hair is going to not be that perfect for years, actually. Um, if she goes red right now, like, she's not gonna be able to get it back like that. I'm basically going for a kind of, like, darker, burgundy, plummy, cherry red. Ooh, a darker, Burgundy, what'd you say, plummy red? I don't know. Sounds interesting. I'm here for all of that. So I got this shade. I got two of these. Color Crazy and Bordeaux, I think is how you say it. More of a purpley red. Everybody seems to go with a little more purpley red today or like a pink red. It's interesting. I'm so happy she's using semi permanent color because she doesn't need anything else. Her hair is already so bright. Thank God she's not doing any lifting. This is good. This is good enough. So I got that Manic Panic pillar box red to add a little bit more of a cherry-ish color to it. She's mixing all kinds of color together. You can just pick one. I and mean, I guess why pick one? We can do them all, right? I'm gonna just get it over with because the fact of the matter is I suit darker hair better. I love the color red. I just need to do it. I've been blonde for like over a year and I'm bored. I think everyone's bored. I'm I'm not bored. Your, your blonde hair looks perfect on you. It looks really, really, really good on you. Like, really good. I mean, the red's gonna also look nice on you because you have the skin tone for it. You just have the face for anything, honestly, but... I don't know. I want to be able to grow out my hair in a healthier way. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm just gonna apply it to my head. To prepare for this, I shampooed and didn't condition my hair and that's what I'll be dying. I cannot wait for the satisfying shot of this red color going over her blonde hair. That first swipe, it gets me going every time, every time. So I'm just gonna work from the back up to the top. That's usually a pretty good way to do it, I think. No, don't do it like that. If you're using some permanent color, guys, start at the root. It is way easier. Things stay way more organized. If you just start painting all the roots first and then you do all the mids and ends after, it just keeps everything really organized and nice. If you do the ends first, you have a hard time dividing the sections to then get the roots after. You know what I mean? It gets all really messy and dirty and annoying. Just annoying at the end of the day. But we're going to try to be pretty precise with this because it's easier than it looks to mess spots. If she this is any spots, it's gonna be very, very, very visible because her hair is very blonde and she's going very dark red. So good luck. Aha! <laughs> There's no turning back now. This is probably making some people like scream and cry at home, like I'm destroying this beautifully white hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one screaming and crying and suffering. Okay, it's me you're talking about. Oh my God, that's like blood going on hair. It's really wild and I love it. But also, <laughs> The thing is, I've been this color for so long now and I'm like kind of self-aware that it's not really my color. Like it doesn't not suit me, but I suit other colors a lot better. Do you know what I mean? And I miss, you know, having a little bit of space to myself, you know? I don't know what you mean because you look incredible, but we'll see. I mean, maybe the red will look better. So she's working right up the head and um, getting worried about her neck because we're just laying the hair right on the neck and mm, there's no like Vaseline or anything to cover her neck and protect it from getting this red all over it. I don't know if you realize this yet but today, but I hate when people color their skin. I just hate it for them because I know the, the struggle of getting this off the skin. It's not fun. And we are definitely going red. That shit is, is gonna take a while to come out. If it comes out at all. She did a lot of work to get that blonde and now she's putting red right over all of it and kind of just saying bye to the blonde forever. You can kind of see this color works better for me, weirdly. Oh. Why did that just give me like a great idea? I feel like it would be really cool if it kind of just looked like blood. 
like a handprint, a bloody handprint on her head. How cool would that be? A red handprint over the blonde hair. She should have done that. Somebody better do that. Like a murder scene on your head. Okay, so obviously there's no going back now. And um, I really hope it's darker than this though. Okay, so we're going to split my hair again. It's so red. Sorry, I keep saying that, but it's, it is. She's going for it. She has no regrets. I think it's gonna look really cute because she has that little tiny bit of black root going on. And as this color grows out, it's gonna be really nice with her dark root. It's always nice to have a darker root than what you have on the end. So I'm excited to see that, how that comes together. And the, the black root kind of complements the red. I'm really excited about that. Um, The deed has, is done. The deed is done, yep. There is red color all over your forehead all over it so i'm gonna leave this one for 20 minutes half an hour it doesn't need long i mean if i washed out now i'd probably get the same result as if i washed out in 20 minutes but i'll do as the bottle says now with her hair because it's so blonde you need extra saturation because blonde is porous and it just sucks in all that color and it dries out really quickly so just make sure there's a lot of color smeared onto that hair so that there's no chance this dries out and you end up with spots that are not colored i'm starting to remember Remember things about having dyed hair that isn't not fun, you know? Like when it rains and red starts to come all the way down your face. If you own any white bed sheets, ruined. White clothes also ruined. So I'm gonna give this a really, really good shampoo. I know with my color line and a lot of other starting permanent color lines, you should not shampoo the starting permanent color out. Rinse thoroughly. You can condition, but just rinse thoroughly and condition. Don't shampoo. It's just gonna result in your hair color fading quicker. I'm looking at myself on camera and now that I have red hair, I look stark white. My skin is like snow. In real life, it's a little darker than this. This looks really bright on camera. Holy, holy. That is bright and she looks pale. That's what she said and I agree. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished look. Yeah, it didn't come out as dark as I had hoped. I thought it'd be a little darker, but I think it came in pretty cute. I mean, I can always go darker. It's not like the end of the world, you know. Future me is here to end the video because I changed my hair again. I completely forgot I even filmed that video, but yeah, I got extensions. Yeah, I dyed my hair a little bit darker. So it's a bit more um, plummy now, I'd say. Oh my God, where do I even start? Okay, so she showed us that the shorter hair look, I don't know. Wasn't really feeling it, but then she showed us the extension look. I mean, it went from here to here. But I do have to say, I, I don't know, I, I feel like I like the blonde better. The blonde was cuter, but this is also a vibe. This is like rock star vibe. The other one was like really pretty, um, just kind of classic, pretty vibes. They're both cool. It looks a lot more violet than red, if anything. But good job. You did not miss any spots. It looks very clean and well done and um, vibrant and full of life and I love the vibes. I love those hair transformations. Those were beautiful. They all came out pretty nicely. So that's exciting. Good job. If you want to check out any of my hair colors, including super red, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That's all. Thanks for watching. Bye.